So we open where we left last time at dinner arguing with Marla. So we open with Sanya's husband telling them to stop attacking his wife and he storms off. Oh my goodness, Kenyon this whining. She could have called and said, hey, you guys could still come. She invited you, you didn't show. She said open invitation. So now Sanya's upset that Sheree turned on her. You need to be glad she ain't stealing your checks. <laughs> Marlo Amos said, Kenya's making a big deal out of this because her man left. I mean, Kenya's used to men leaving. Sheree, you weren't uninvited. What are you talking about? So Sanya comes back to the table and says, okay, we gonna meet up midday tomorrow and then we'll have our last dinner. So the next morning, Sanya asks Marlo to be the host while she's at iFit, so Kenya can't whine. She by Sheree still ain't got this fashion together. And she by Sheree is still in Neverland. The samples aren't together. She's got to get a new venue. You've had 10 years to get this together. Three weeks till the fashion show and you ain't even got models. I mean, you know how to fail. Why are you repeating the same steps? So Sanya sent a car to get Sheree to go to her iFit stuff, but left Kenya with the rest of the heifers. I would have too. Kit Kenya wants to know why Marlo Amos was made the temporary host of the trip when she ain't even getting along with everybody. Ain't nobody really listening to Marlo. Sanya tells Sheree, you seemed upset that you didn't get to see the eye fit. Kenya just wanted to whine, which is why she ain't here. Sheree tells Sanya, look, you better nip it in the bud or she ain't never gonna stop. So we at lunch and birds is pooping on plates. Candy protecting that plate from the poop though. So after lunch, Marlo invites everybody to sit by the pool, but Candy, Todd, and Kenya go sit in the private bungalow. Well, it's actually a cabana, but. And Kenya starts whining, Sheree won't let me be in her fashion show. Kenya said she rejected me. Well, so did Mark. So did Mark. So Marlo Amos complains to Sheree and Monietta about Candy saying you gave your nephews away. But you did, Heffa, you did. So Marlo Amos finally gets a text from Sanya and she's like, ooh, thank God, I'm sick of hosting these people with a stank attitude. So now we're at the bamboo boats. So Sheree and Candy are on the bamboo raft together. This looks like fun. Slow fun, but fun. Oh God, Kenya. Sanya's husband getting up and yelling at everybody and I'm by myself, that's very intimidating. He did not yell at you. He said, stop attacking my wife. You just mad no man has ever stood up from you unless he was getting up to leave. Even Sheree said, you know, he was just defending his wife. That's what husbands do. I'm sure cockeyed Bob didn't, but you know, that's what husbands are supposed to do. Oh, but Sam and Marlo talk about Kenya whining about this divorce. The divorce was supposed to have been over 50 years ago. Y'all been getting divorced longer than you was together. So it's the night of the last dinner. Kenya stops by Drew's room, but her ankle's real swole. So Mignetta drops by Candy's room and says, I had some questions from Orlo Amos. Mignetta said, we were bonding. Candy said, F y'all bond. Candy said, I ain't buying Marlo's bull. She always wants to come cuddle up after she bites you. I'm done with the heifer. But it's the last dinner and we're all showing up in our black and green. Candy and Marlo show up in the same top, but different colors. It is crazy, because I can't believe you paid what Marlo would pay for a blouse. And for dinner, we are going to have scallops. Makes me want to watch Huntsville. Good old scallop head. So Sonya asks everyone their highlight of the trip. Sheree's was going to the track. Marlo Amos really wants to thank Sheree for cheering her on so loudly she lost her voice during that race. But then Marlo says, you know, Candy, I want to take responsibility for my part. Do you know why I went below the belt? Well, Candy, I just want to know how you could say I gave my nephews away when me and Ralph were talking when I opened up about you and my business with the boys. Candy says, well, you know, the things you were saying about my husband wasn't true, and I was making a true statement. I should not have said it in front of other people. But when you go low, I am not Michelle Obama. I'm going lower. Ooh. Ty said, well, the next time you go low, can you leave me the F out of it? You got to curse at me, though. Candy like, 
Ken is like, oh, so anytime a man says something to you to stay out of his business, he's just respecting a woman. But when you can say anything about him, and it's perfectly fine. Todd said, well, you argue with her, not with me. Marlowe said, okay, Candy, and I will never disrespect your husband again. Girl, boom. Monetta's husband is cute and quiet. I don't think he said anything this whole trip. So after all that's calmed down, Sheree said, let's just have fun. Everybody's kind of quiet and dry. Sheree's like, y'all don't want to laugh? Marlo said, well, we've been laughing, haven't we, Sonia? So Sanya sees Kenya making weird faces, and she says, what's up, Kenya? Kenya says, you sound like a dude. What's up? Sanya says, well, Kenya, it feels like you've been ungrateful because I've gone above and beyond. I've been an amazing host. And Kenya gonna say, ooh, the ego tonight. Girl, you couldn't even order everybody crab cakes when you took the girls to South Carolina. And you want to fly on a private plane, a.k.a. a Delta puddle jump, and let the girls travel in the van. You ain't no host. Oh, God, she's still whining about the eye fit thing. I feel it was very disrespectful. It wasn't, Kenya. It wasn't. Kenya said, well, we wanted to be there for you and be on time. And Sanya said, well, you wasn't on time yesterday, and this is a work event, so I can't sit around and wait for you. Well, I'm talking. I'm talking. Are you listening? Sanya said, yes, but this is a conversation. You need to be quiet and listen. Sanya said, you ain't going to tell me when to shut up. Kenya said, you're doing the Drew. You're doing the Drew. No, Kenya, you're doing the Drew, making a mountain out of a molehill. Kenya going to say Sanya's attitude is in the toilet. Sanya said, yeah, because you've been stank. Kenya going to say, I don't work in the world of abstract thought. Kenya going to say, Sanya's so inarticulate explaining herself. No, Sanya has. And you say, oh, it's Brooklyn. Oh, it's Mark. Sanya says, well, when I have an issue with you, you do the Kenya. Oh, did I twirl? Yes, you twirled away from the issue like Mark twirled away from you. Lord, Sanya, you should say my issue with you is you're blowing up this whole eye fit thing like I'm supposed to be checking on you. Candy said you're setting yourself up. So since Sanya couldn't really come up with nothing, they kind of squash it. And Kenya says, I love accomplished, articulate women, even though you called her inarticulate 10 seconds ago. Kenya gone ask Sanya, did you get me a birthday cake? I didn't know it was your birthday. So the episode ended, but we get in KFC at the airport in Jamaica because it's better in Jamaica than America. I never heard that, but I try it. KFC here gives me the trots. So because Candy smelled Marlo's chicken, she had to go on and make up with her because Candy ain't going to turn down a wing. All right, well, let's get to Mary to medical. Don't grab my pussy. Don't grab my pussy. I'm your cameraman. I don't want to be anything more to you. I swear, don't grab my pussy. I'm not attracted to you. You look like Yoda and the Gollum. 